That's great, man. It's a hundred grand. It's a fucking amazing. It's amazing. Hundred thousand dollars. I'll take your 10k. Take your 20k. I'll take 80. We'll figure all that out, dude. I'm fucking feeling so fucking good, dude. I I don't think it's even. Computer call. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantic. I can't wait to tell everybody that fucking calls me a fucking piece of shit. All you rats. I just made more money. Mandingo party. Do you not understand? It's time to pile on the white rap. You know, Ugh. dirty to snow. Fucking dude. Hello, everybody. It's me, Pickle, and I'm back with the Boss Man Jack. All right, everybody. What you just witnessed is a um an artist's rendition of what boss man jack's life has been for the past couple of weeks and credit goes to ptsd archive for posting this funny ai edit for any rats that have been conjecturing that uh boss band became a jail bitch well here you go i hope you're happy with this imaginary rendition of what that might look like okay folks obviously i'm not just here to show you this funny video i come to you today with some jail updates as I had updated you guys on both Twitter, my Discord, and on the community tab here on YouTube, Boss Man Jack was said to have a bunch of hearings on the 7th and another one on the 8th, but they actually all got rescheduled to the 7th of November. So these were the obstruction, resist without force, salute, disregard, police misdemeanors. These are related to his attempted evasion of the police when they try to serve his warrant for his arrest, as, as well as his um, two charges with regards to failing his bond conditions. That means failing his 30 day stay at the rehab, which I remind you, he got kicked out of for being a schizo and crashing out on the other patients anytime they shared their own drug addiction stories. And of course, one of the original charges, the drug possession, when he got caught with cocaine in his pockets when he went home after visiting his dealer and after, of course, having assaulted his own father, or as Ratnad likes to call it, slapping him. It was trying to slap me around a little bit. <laughs> now here we are missing the one with regards to his actual assault of his own father. That one's for a later date. Maybe it's been rescheduled by the time I post this. So everything was set for the November 7th. We would hear from the courts whether or not Bossman would get bond again. Maybe we'd get to see him again this weekend. I sadly have to inform you that we did not get this outcome. Unsurprisingly, Bossman did not get bond. And all of these hearings that happened on the 7th, all of, all of them got rescheduled to the 14th. Why you may ask? Well, thanks again to the Kiwi Farms, particularly Lol Cow Supreme. You guys remember him. He was the one that showed up at Boss's hearing the last time. And he even got a little sneak peek of Rat Dad. So... This post is now on the screen and I'm going to read it for you guys. So thanks again to Lol Cow Supreme for being the boots on the ground. Now, here's his report. Bossman Jack's appearance in court this morning was a quick one. While being led into the court in his orange jumpsuit and shackles with the other prisoners, Austin scanned the courtroom, searching for his father, mother, or any kind of support. Though he searched desperately, he found none. Not even his lawyer was present for his hearing. Austin looked very gaunt. With his former fade haircut grown out but not yet wild like before, with a pube beard growth of not shaving for two weeks. Though other prisoners had no issue walking into the courtroom, Austin seemed to struggle under the weight of the handcuffs he was in, shoulders deeply hunched under the weight, making his six foot frame nearly four inches shorter. He looked as if he hadn't eaten in a week, not slept in twice as long. This must be related to the fact that he's been two weeks clean by now. He's probably very depressed at what is going on and what might be the outcome of, of these charges? Understandable, but all of this is his own fault, so let's continue. When the judge called his case, Austin shuffled up to the stand, again scouring the courtroom for anyone who was there to help him. It truly seemed as if he didn't know no one would be showing up. When greeted by the judge, he responded so meekly the judge repeated himself. The judge then stated that the case would be moved one week to November 14th, when his attorney would be available. What seemed like a summarily given scheduling matter hit Austin by utter surprise. When the bailiff grabbed Austin's arm and gently pulled the escort him back to holding, he blurted out, I'm not getting bond? The judges simply reply, no, no bond. Austin was then taken back to holding. No reading of the charges, no updated details, etc. Now if any of this is true, which it probably is, I, I don't see why local Supreme would be lying about this. It was definitely factual the last time we reported on uh, Austin's court appearances. Bossman is really looking like he's not in a good place. I mean, obviously he's in jail, but I mean, in his head. He's been clean for two weeks. He's gone. He must have been going through some crazy withdrawals. As you guys know, he was 
was he was crazy high during the last streams. It's okay, right? It's okay. We are good. It's okay. We are okay. Okay. It's okay. We are okay. Because we are all good. We are all good and we are all loved in every way, dude. It's okay, dude. Yo, we are. Am I okay, dude? It is. Okay. I am okay. We are okay. Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yes, I'm fine. No, dude. Am I okay? Am I okay, dude? Am I okay? I think I'm okay. I am okay. Because obviously he knew what was going to happen. He even warned me. Where you at, Pickle? Oh, no, I can't see him. He's only got 4K subs. Bang, bang, bit. Look how you're lacking out there. Wait till you can't even get content no more from me. Pickle. And God damn it, the crackhead was right. So usually in these situations, when he knows what's going to happen, what does he do? He just gets high to forget about it. Just, just go crazy high. Might as well go all the way. He already knows he's going to get caught. Eh. Anyways, this doesn't change the fact that the courts are rigged, that the judge is a rat, okay? And boss man doesn't deserve this, all right? This is not okay. We are not okay. Boss man is not okay, okay? And also the lawyer is a rat. Why wasn't he there? Oh my God, this is so rigged. Everybody's in on it. The rats paid off the judge and the lawyer. And oh my God, not even rat dad was there. What? This is, this is magnitude levels of rigged that I cannot even explain it to you guys. What the hell? Okay, so the consensus on this is the lawyer and everyone else knew he wasn't going to get bond anyway. So I guess they didn't even bother. Might as well keep him there for another week. Maybe finally this way, Austin will actually get sober for more than 30 days. What am I kidding? More than 30 days? Just 30 days is something that he has never accomplished. So this is probably better for him. Although it's worse for us. We want content. We want Bossman to be free. We don't want him in jail. We want him out here entertaining us with his shenanigans. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. This is for my boy, Zach. If this juice is Zach, I'm going to juice your ass, bro. I'm not going to juice your ass, but I'll juice you. God damn, that sounded weird. Oh, oh, my teeth are hard. Hey, Mrs. Smith. Hey, baby. Yes, I'm free. Yes, I'd love that. Yes, Mrs. Suo. Yes, I'll come clap them sweet cheeks later. Give me a minute. I just got out of jail, babe. Pickle, that sounds good. I like pickle. Shit, yeah, I need to get my game up, dog. I usually just whip it out and it usually works. So unfortunately, now we just have to hope and pray that on the 14th, maybe he gets with Bond so we can watch him stream again. As far as the other charges, they've also been rescheduled. There was one that was set for 2026. Now they're set for start of 2025, around January, February. As always, the link to this thread will be in the description. And if you want to follow closely as to what is happening with Bossman and his court cases, I advise you to keep an eye on it. And thanks again to the Kiwi Farms for providing all of this info, as usual. Now, if you guys liked the video and want to get more updates on what's going on with Bossman, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me and it helps you. So triple chuck that sub button right now, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking dude. I'm gonna fucking dude.